Well, it's been a while since I've made a video, and uh, the reason being that uh, there were many, many, many things that I was up to. And that's all going to break out in the next couple weeks. We should be good to go. Whatever. Um, I don't want to make any promises, but let's just say things are going really good in the old graphene business. This, my friends, and to use my hand as size compares, is 100 grams of graphene. Um, 100 grams of the same stuff that, like, uh, there's certain companies out there that'll charge. Uh, $250 per gram for this. And my little company will be charging a lot less. Uh, it'll be affordable. Let's, that's the only thing I can say. Uh, things are going along. Um, 100 grams is actually not that much relative to the scale that we're trying to do. Um, many, many, many kilograms, which, you know, 100 kilograms is, you know, a lot more than this. <laughs> and that's what we're trying to get to. But, you can see it's in this little jar. Uh, it just came out of the uh, vacuum oven. And watch this. This is something a little neat about this powder. We'll shake it down so that it'll settle a little bit. And you can see, you can see like about two thirds of the jar is full. Um, this is just something that I found amusing and I've done it over and over and over. And it doesn't mean anything really. It's not scientific. But it's very amusing. Here we go. And if you shake it up like this, do, 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 you can hear it. It's full. And then it'll come down and settle a little bit, almost like a foam. <laughs> uh, it's just amusing. I don't know. Here's um, 150 grams. Strange. that. But we have to do a process to take this filtered cake and turn it into this light and fluffy powder. So um, that's what I've been doing recently, been trying to make this where it's useful. Because honest to goodness, when you have this cake, it's hard to disperse. And to disperse it, that's when you're trying to mix it into stuff. Uh, and an example is, um, hold on, I have some actually. Well, we saw this plastic before, but, oh, here we go. So you can see how this plastic right here that I made, the ABS, right? Yeah, but then when you look it through it, through the cord of it, which the camera doesn't focus really, it, um, it's not mixed in there very well. And then, hold on, here's, here's another piece. Uh, oh yeah, this one. So this piece right here is dispersed very well. This is very strong. This is almost as strong as a, uh, as a stainless steel, the same thickness. Very, very strong. That other, on the other hand, that other stuff, because it wasn't dispersed very well, was stronger than the original ABS. You know, this this was stronger, but not much. You know, well, I mean. And when I say not much, I mean like 15% stronger. That's all it was, 15 to 20% stronger. But it was still strong, and it was stronger, but you're not dispersing it well. And so if you don't disperse it very well, oh, that's actually graphene also as well. That's another thing. Look at how messy my desk is. <laughs> um, anyway, but if you don't disperse it very well, you won't get desired results. If you're in a battery or something like that, or, and you're trying to make... Uh, some kind of ink for the electrolyte, or I mean, for the electrodes, or if you're trying, any of those things where you're trying to mix it in and make graphene go into something. Um, and if you don't know this, you try to put water in this and the water will not go in here. Um, and it will not go in water. You can actually drop it in, in water, and I'll do that experiment in a little while, uh, where you, you know, just fun and neat little things about it. But it's extremely hydrophobic. Um, so it's hard to get it to do stuff, so you have to do it in like uh, organic solvents like, um, well, uh, ethyl acetate, acetone, uh, where is it? Eth where is it? Uh, ethanol, you know, um, glycerol, those are some of the ones that I'm looking at right now on the shelf. 
there's a whole bunch of them. You know, gasoline, it'll go in gasoline. Uh, it'll do uh, all those things, right? But you try to put it in water and it won't work. And if you're trying to do something neat with it and it's only water soluble type or only compatible with water, then that's, that becomes a problem. So you have to make it like this so that you can disperse it in something like, like ethanol or you know, something that'll, that'll mix homogeneously with uh, water it, you know, so that you can get it there. You know, and, and put it into something. Um, so there's a bunch of different ideas that are going on here to, to make it more useful. That's all. I, I, actually, that's actually what the video is about outside of me rambling like an idiot. <laughs> but there you go, guys. A uh, little, little update. Um, maybe the next update will be something from the new facility. Um, or something. I don't know. I don't know exactly what we're going to do. It just depends on, on what I'm up to. So, thanks again, and thank you guys all for following and, and checking out my videos and putting up with me sounding like an idiot. Uh, have a good day. Cheers! <laughs>